Hey everyone, I hope you guys' New Year's went out with a great start. Today I want to backtrack just a bit and further explore upon sliding doors. Now with my original video, it was a good way to demonstrate triggers and moving objects, but it lacked open-close functionality. Now there are multiple ways to achieve this, however, certain things have to be taken into account. We first need our script to recognize when it should open and close, but we also want our door to not break when a user is input in several times in a closed session. I'll be taking you through all of this, as well as teach you about if, else statements and functions. To start things off, what are functions? Essentially, it's a group of statements that returns a specific task. They're used to improve readability and efficiency for the scripter. We'll be calling two different functions to transform the door up and down. As it was with the original video, we're going to be using the getObjectPosition node to find our XYZ coordinates. Using this, we'll be splitting up into two sections. For the first one, we'll split the vector and add 12, or however much you want your door to go up by, to the Z value. Then, combine XYZ to the Vector3 node to group them all back together. Finally, connect the node as the initial value to the declare Vector3 variable. This is so we can call upon this function throughout our main code. Make sure you give it an identifier, I chose the name up, and set the scope to global. As for the other section, all you need to do is connect it to another Vector3 variable. This just remembers its original position, which is closed. Next, our decision maker. We'll start things off by having a trigger, which in this case is our UNSC console. We'll connect that to our on object interacted event node. Now, before we read on any further, make sure to get our door reference as well as our position in vector 3 node. This will constantly update and tell our script where our door is located. In order for our program to make its decision, we'll need to introduce if else statements by comparing two different values. Using the compare node, connect C to operand A. Operand B will be your door's current Z value when it's closed, plus 0.05. In my instance, my door's closed Z value is 499.95. So my uh, Z value, or operand B, will be 500. Connect to the branch node with A less than B, as this will be our mid value. Connect the if true condition to translate object to point. Finally, get our vector3 variable and make sure to set up the identifier and scope according to what we set in our function. Plug in the vector as its position to translate object to point. Set the movement curve to linear, duration to however long you want, and plug in the re object reference. As for the if-false condition, follow what we've done previously with a couple exceptions. Set operand b to the open value, minus 0.05, so we can get our max value. Connect to the branch node with A is greater than B, with the if true option connected to the translate node. Finally, set the position as our other variable. Anyway, I hope today's video is helpful. A uh, long time coming with all of you guys asking for open closed door functionality. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. I uh, appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Happy 2023!